Hey, this is Rick Wilson. Today's show is about metal detecting. I've been watching these shows. Hmm. I've been watching these metal detecting shows and Janet asked me is is all that true? Do they actually find that stuff or do they plan it and then go back and find it later? Yes. Oh no, this is true. This is true. Hear that? Oh, that's true. So today's show is going to be about that. Everything you can bet on. Everything is true. Everything I find is true. Oh yeah, just so you know, I just came up from the bank of the creek, the Deer Creek, I think the name of it. And I'm in Tennessee. And, uh, I'm in search of the lost banjo and I was told it was around here and uh, I'm looking for it so let's get on with it. I've been out here a couple of hours now. I think I'm getting close. Oh my. What is that? Oh yeah. I think I'm getting close now. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. Let me get my pinpointer out. Oh, also for all of you that are wondering what I'm using. I'm using a Simplex, Nokia Simplex, and uh, it does a great and wonderful job. You, you know, all you have to do is recharge it. You don't have to do anything with the battery. Oh yeah, let me get my... Get down here and see if I can... See what we got going here. Check this out pretty good here. Let's see. Wait, I think I got something here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at here. Oh. Look at here. I've, I've dug up a band. Oh my goodness. This is great. Yeah. Oh, and it's in tune. I can't believe it. Wow, this is awesome. Oh my. This is great. Look at this. I think it's the, wait a minute. What was that? What was that? I'm getting out of here. Oh no, you ain't gonna get me. No. I saw somebody with no teeth, and he, he had a bow and arrow, and he said, squeal! Oh. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. So, I'm getting out of Tennessee. Oh, hi. Uh, it's Rick Wilson again, and it's the next day, and I am no longer in Tennessee, thank goodness. I am in, back in Alabama, and this is an old home site back in Alabama, and uh, we're in uh, Bush and Big Benton, Alabama, and I'm here. I don't know how these got so low, but my pants have just gotten too low. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Anyway, 
This is an old home site. It's probably about 200 or so years old. And I got permission to uh, to look at it and to see if what I can find here. I'm I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to find something fairly decent. Uh, what I understand, these people, uh, of course, the old home place is not here anymore. But I understand it was some pretty nice stuff, people, and they they were pretty wealthy. So I'm maybe we'll find gold. I don't know. But if you stick with us, I guarantee you we're going to find some nice stuff at this place. And you what? You can believe it's true. Because I can find the things for you. You can believe it. Because I said it's true. Everything I find is just for you. <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. Stick with me now. Let me see if I can't find out what it is. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let get well, I guess we'll do it like uh, like they do it on TV. We're going to go around in a circle here. So, I don't know what that is. And then we're going to pull out a plug. Now, all right, let's see. Oh, okay. okay, let's see. Oh, let me pull. What in the world? What? Wow. It's a five dollar gold piece and it's in the presenter wow and look somebody's well i guess they they knew it was going to be a collector's item so when they lost it well that makes sense oh well i guess it's i guess it's my fortune i know you got to put this back right but wow that's really nice. Well, folks, I hope you uh, have enjoyed being in Alabama. I think I got one more, uh, one more task to do. I'm gonna. I got permission over at a uh, at a Confederate uh, and a, a Northern and a Confederate battle site. So let's go over there. What are you doing? It's in the percent. It's no. It's true. I, I, you saw me dig it up, didn't you? Let's go. Wow! What a walk. If you can look over my shoulder there, you'll see the old road where the old wagon old wagons came up the with the wooden wheels and uh, uh, the Confederate came up through here and so did the, the northern armies came up through here and they were dragging they were dragging cannons and all their guns and all their supplies right up this road right here I'm in took a hatch Alabama and uh, I'm here and I got permission to, uh, which is very unusual for me, to uh, metal detect. And so I hope I find something that's, uh, that's worth sharing with you. So come on along.
goodness, I'm starting to get a really good signal here. Oh my, what in the world could that be? Wait a minute. I think I see something leaning up against this tree. Surely it hadn't, hadn't been here for 200 years. What in the world is this? My, my goodness, I can't believe what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. Wow. There's, a, there's an old gun leaned up against this tree. Wow, look at this. Why, it's an old Springfield. And I, oh my goodness, I think it'll still shoot. Wow, can you believe that? For 200 years, this thing has been, or almost 200, been leaned up against that tree. And it shot. Holy moly. Wow. I know some of you out there thinking yeah, that you don't believe it, but you just saw it. You can believe anything that you see on TV. On the internet. I'm a little, a little upset you don't believe me. Well, where did I get this in? Look at that. Huh? Look at that. It just shot. Look, it's still smoking coming out the end of it. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my little metal detecting. And uh, you come back and see me next week. I don't know if that's what I'm going to be doing, metal detecting. Cause I'm going to tell you what. I had a good week. I mean, I found me some gold. I found me a banjo. In Alabama, I found me a gun. Spring fish from the Civil War. You tell them, bird. Yeah. Y'all be sweet. It's all real. <laughs>